eat some breakfast. I mean, it depends. Okay, we'll all be, oh, 27, 28 almost. I'll be almost done with my five years of service. Um, I'll be like waking up and like telling people what to do. And like, probably like, telling people what to do? <laughs> <laughs> because like I'll be an officer by that oh. time. Okay, Emily. I'm an interior designer. I'm so an interior designer. I can tell you live in like in New York City. No. One of those nice apartments with all the With the glass walls. With no. the glass walls and looking all over the city. <laughs> and Living in one of three places, North Carolina, Hawaii, or Pittsburgh. Hawaii is the far stretch, but I want to be there. A real estate agent, killing the game in that, because I need money. Happy wife, maybe one or two kids at this point. I would go um, home to my house. I'd be living on a vineyard or like a um, orchard. I could be in med school and put my scrubs on, go cut some people up. Yeah. Maybe. All right, Madison in 10 years, she's gonna be a fashion designer. She's gonna live in LA with her boyfriend and they're gonna have a cute little baby. And she's gonna have a cute apartment and she's gonna have yoga classes and they're gonna be rich. <laughs> and they're gonna be healthy, fit, fave couple. Yeah, they're all gonna be vegan. And have some kids and a pretty wealthy husband. Play with some cute dogs that I own. No kids, zero. Ooh, three out of ten. <laughs> um, Brian, I would say that I could just see you living in this little shack with a, just a bunch of dogs. But I'll I'll be making good money. Don't worry. That's a that's a must. Yeah, I'll marry someone rich and then we'll save all the dogs in the world. Uh, ten years from now, I think I will be living somewhere foreign, probably like in Europe or somewhere like that. <laughs> Not be married, not have kids. I would like focus time on myself, and stuff like that. So, I'll probably have a dog and maybe some cats. A day in my life, ten years from now, I will be in the Marine Corps, and I will hopefully have completed law school by then. I'll have signed my second contract, which is eight years in the Marines. So I'll be going for sixteen years, and I'll be working there as a JAG or a lawyer for them, and I'll get a job experience necessary so that one day I can work for the State Department as a policymaker, veteran, and lawyer to help people in the United States with good legislation and laws. I would like to have a family. Um, I like to run my own business and hopefully stay in touch with my friends that I kept throughout the years. But I'm going to be living on a mountain <laughs> for sure. Ten years from now I hope to be living with someone I love in an apartment, having my own psychology office, doing my own studies, and hopefully have a dog or two to make me happy. All right, in uh, 10 years from now, hopefully I'll be driving a family coupe, and uh, Sheriff TV will uh, hopefully yeah. have made it to TV. Hopefully graduated from college, pursuing some other degree, or hopefully in a career. I really don't think I'll be like in a serious relationship. I just don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'll definitely have a dog, because that will be my life. Oh, 10 years from now, I definitely hope that I've made it to every continent, and hopefully every country. That might be a bit of a stretch. <laughs> I just hope that I'm happy, and I hope that I'm doing what I want to be doing. But like, at 27, I feel like I'll have a better idea of what I want in my life, so. I think Brian would be like a, a band director. He'll probably be really mean, but like, people will like him anyway. My, my kids will definitely yeah, be gonna, afraid like, of me. <laughs> uh, they have to be in bed by 7.30 every night. One of them's a, one of them's a junior in high school. They'll probably wear like sweater vest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the polo with the sweater vest up and the um, khaki with pleats, of course. There is a dress code for dinner. And we'll have a dog and a cat. Um, I picture you probably with two kids. It's like it's like a seemingly nuclear family, and she's a vet, and um, and she's like got this kind of housekeeping business on the side. You know, for the reality, you get home and like the entire house is a mess. Her kids are like screaming, and one of them's got applesauce crust in their hair. It's chaos, but it's it's fun, rewarding chaos. Uh, in ten years, I just want to be like out of college and have a stable job. And I want to live on a large piece of land where I can kind of do what I want. And I want a wife, but I don't think I want kids. About 10 years from now, I'll probably be waking up in a bed. Probably be going to work somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to be, but probably be getting a job, working somewhere. 
probably gonna be out of Virginia. Maybe. I guess I'll be married by then. So 10 years from now, I'll probably wake up, mansion house, have some servant bring me breakfast, whatever's on the menu for the day, and then jump in my Porsche and go to uh, my NFL practice for the, uh, probably not the Patriots because I don't like them, but any other team will work. I'll be a starting quarterback for sure. Then I'll probably call Logan and tell him that the Patriots suck. So in 10 years, Keith and I are thinking we're gonna adopt five children from five children. Guinea. Yeah, from Guinea. We we want to affect their lives positively, mm -hmm. and we feel like we could provide a stable home. We wouldn't be like together or anything, but we think we could raise kids together. Really oh no, well. we'd be together. We just need to get. No, we planned it completely. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be together. We're gonna have five kids. Mm -hmm. Some from Guinea. Mm -hmm. Probably all of them from Guinea. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe from the Philippines. Yeah, they're really poor. So if we bring them over, Keith and I are pretty smart. So we're thinking we'll have pretty good jobs and we'll make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So if we make enough money, we should be able to support five kids. And if we can support five, we'll probably then go over to China or Japan and get five more. And we'll just keep going from there until they're all through college. And yeah, and then we're happy. All right, so Keith is probably going to be a professional swimmer. He's going to swim I'm gonna with sharks I'm going to be a cowboy. Okay. He's going to be a cowboy, which is kind of like a swimmer with sharks, but he's, like, standing with cowboys. Yes. And yeah, I, I'm going to be, like, a cowboy, but I'm going to be, like, the shark version of a cowboy. Yes. I'm not sure what I can do. I have a lot of good assets. I'm good with a bow staff, and I'm pretty good at hunting, so. Mm -hmm. All right, in 10 years from now, I will have a $5 million mansion in L.A. I'm going to have a good-looking wife. Gonna have two boys. I'm gonna own the Seattle Seahawks. Gonna be signing a contract three weeks later. <laughs> gonna be starting kicker. Gonna make more money off of that. And then I'm gonna be a quadrillionaire. Ten years from now, I'll probably wake up, have a girlfriend or wife at that time, have a, probably a couple dogs, wake up, go to work, and do the usual. Ten years, I wanna have my own house you know, in Tennessee and be a physical therapist. All right, um. We're having four kids, and we're gonna get married by 24, right? And we're gonna have my first kid at 24 too. And if he doesn't propose to me, I'm gonna propose to him. And then we're gonna live in a farmhouse with two dogs and two cats, right? Then we're probably gonna have twins, honestly, so. So 10 years from now, I'll be 28, which is kind of old, but not really old. So I hope I'll have like a good job, probably in journalism, maybe at like CNN, that'd be really cool. And I'd like to have a house and a family and at least three dogs. I'd like more, but three is a good starting number. In 10 years, I'm going to be living in Philadelphia with a family, and that's about it. In 10 years, I, uh, I want to have graduated from Liberty with a music degree for, in some area of it, either production, songwriting, maybe even theater, and I want to live in Nashville. Uh, it's been my plan to move there after college for a long time, and I want to, one path I might go down is uh, owning a recording studio. Um, one path might just be in business, I don't know, but Nashville is definitely where I want to be uh, in 10 years, and I want to have a career in the arts, and uh, it's a dream, but it's one that I think I can achieve with the city I want to be in and the school I'm going to. I'm hoping to like own my own business. My dad owns a business, so it's kind of like a dream, because I like being the boss of people. And I want to get married, and have at least two kids. I don't know if any more and definitely rescue some dogs and from the SPCA and stuff. So yeah. Somewhere in 10 years I'd like to be doing something with information technology. I'd like to go back to Bosnia and do something there. I know they, they need it. But, yeah. Okay so where I see myself in 10 years would hopefully be in Europe, I would love to be able to go and travel abroad and live in Europe and be a nurse there. For at least like three years of my life, I would love to have that. I mean, hopefully, I'll have a husband who either would meet there or would follow me there and hopefully maybe some kids at that point, but I don't know with me wanting to travel so much if I would do that at that point, but I definitely would want to be somewhere else and travel and explore.
Uh, I want to live in like a billion dollar house in Chicago and drive a Ferrari F12. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston's going to be with me. It's 50 now. That's good. Who cares? 60. I won the lottery. I have my own company no that lottery. I just pay people to do and I just get paid for it. Smile. My life 10 years from now, that's a good question. I'll probably have a family, be married. I'll probably still be living in this country, don't know what state. Hang out with friends, still be with friends with my own family. I might have a dog. There's so many options, I don't know where I'm gonna go right now. So 10 years from now, I'm hoping to be an occupational therapist and have a family. Hopefully have enough money for a huge house and um, I would love a, um, a basset hound. I see myself in 10 years as being a criminal psychologist with the FBI. <laughs> in 10 years I want to be a practicing anesthesiologist and I want to be traveling the world and just enjoying the things that you know life has to offer. Friends, family, eating good food, enjoying my life pretty much. I honestly think that in 10 years I'll, I want to go out and live out in Texas because what I want to do is IT and they always need IT people out there. Hopefully have a, have a small family started with a lot of dogs because they love dogs. But that's pretty much all I could really hope for in 10 years. So 10 years from now I am kind of have a vision of having a family business with my sister. We already have something kind of started, but I'm hoping that I'm gonna go into real estate and have my real estate license and we're gonna have a huge monopoly of like owning buildings and being able to rent them out. It's just like this huge family business. Where yeah. We're all like working together. I kind of wanna live abroad for a bit and hopefully move back to my home state california buy a house in malibu obviously 10 years it's not all gonna come to me but i'm hoping that i'm going to be able to build up the steps that i need to take to have all of that, that i want and trying to go play college baseball uh that's probably my plans for now at roanoke most likely i uh, don't know what i want to major in or anything but Probably somewhere, something with sports or something like that. But uh, sports management, administration, stuff like that. Yeah, that's about it right now. So. Uh, ten years from now, I'm probably still going to be going to a doctorate's college, working some kind of job in order to pay for that. So my job, my life's still not going to be that exciting ten years from now. I'm, I'm looking into like ophthalmology, maybe um, marine biology, maybe. Just anything really in the science field, forensic science or something, but they all require a high doctorate in order to get a good paying job for it. So I'm probably still going to be going to college in 10 years. 10 years. It's kind of tough. I mean, I think it'd be cool to either, like, I want to own my own business, like, either designing clothes or, like, shoes or something. I think that'd be cool. Three kids. I have an Audi A6 or R7, I don't know, one of the two. Not a huge house, but super nice. I'll either be in Utah or Nevada. Oh my goodness, boo, three out of ten. I feel like you're not gonna have a job. Like, <laughs> you're gonna marry someone rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Mm. You're allergic to cats, right? Yeah. Okay, no cats. No cats, <laughs> no cats allowed. No peanut butter, because she's allergic to peanuts. Don't look at me. <laughs> we'll be married, 50 <laughs> kids. <laughs> Um, she'll be a housewife, and <laughs> I, I will be away in the army, obviously. <laughs> uh, probably a Lambo, yeah, something like that. <laughs> and our dogs can play in the water, right? Get that good uh, parasites. <laughs> um, we're saying we're gonna have kids <laughs> together. I know. Put it on their hands. No physical hands. Contact.
things to work out, but we've planned it pretty well. No, we're being together. Okay. So I'm gonna swim next to sharks, and I'm gonna like throw a little net, and I'm gonna capture them and like ride a shark, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And so if we make enough money, we should be able to support five kids, and if we can support five, we'll probably then go over to China or Japan and get five more, and we'll just keep going from there until they're all through college, and yeah, and then we're happy. Yeah, we'll be like the budget version of Harkins. Yeah. <laughs> I look at the camera now. Look at the camera. I don't yeah. Want to look at the camera. Uh, right. I would like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Is it? Wait. You have to give me a star. I do this and then probably get hammered at night. Because <laughs> you know? it would be legal then. Going. Well, cut I can that part. all this <laughs> ass. He's like, cut that part. No, you can cut, our, uh, cut out right where I say technology. Cut and then. <laughs> So she cuts out all the awkward yeah, parts, so, like, so it's like fine. It's, it's fine. Oh, it's like my personality though. Okay. Oh yeah. Smile. Are you working?